Now, uh, Prince Harry, uh, this has emerged. Oh, it's just ridiculous. Uh, it's, it's emerged, first of all, that uh, his constant suing of the Home Office as he tries to achieve the status of warranting uh, armed police protection when he comes here. He failed on that bid. He doesn't warrant it. He's not a frontline member of the royal family, so we're not going to spend our money on protecting him, quite rightly. Uh, but we have had to spend more than half a million pounds fighting this ludicrous case by uh, the Ridiculous. Duke of Sussex. That's the bill to the taxpayer, £514,000. Uh, it's cost him two million. He failed, of course. Uh, but uh, come on, Harry, stop this nonsense. You're not Just going to win this well, case. The, the other thing that is mad about this is he comes over to see his father and so they lay on all the royal protection because he's going to go yeah. to the palace and mm -hmm. whatnot and see his dad, make sure his dad's all right. So he gets the full stuff, you know, the cavalcade uh -huh. convoy, all the rest of it, all the bells and whistles and the geezers with the guns. So it seems if he's coming to visit his family, then fine, he's going to get that stuff. So why does he feel if he's just coming on a jolly that he should still get that stuff? When you don't live here, you're not a working royal, why are you entitled to that? Yeah, and, I it, don't do and, it. It, and it does prove, though, this, this caveat, that if the circumstances are right, he still will get yeah. police protection, which he did when and he also, came to see his that dad. half a but million if... quid you've just cost us, Harry, I expect you now to refund the nation by buying every street in the country a Freddo. Well, why not just write a cheque? Give us the money back. Give us the money back. Right, uh, Ginger, still with Ginger. the royals and uh, the Netflix drama oh, Scoop, dear, oh dear, uh, which oh is dear. all about that uh, disastrous interview uh, by Emily Maitlis from Newsnight with uh, <laughs> that uh, idiotic <laughs> oaf Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, uh, <laughs> which ruined his life uh, because he made such a fall of himself. So they made a film about it. It, it uh, had its premiere oh, last Netflix night. Uh, there form. it all is. We've got uh, Rufus Sewell playing Andrew, Billy Piper playing Sam McAllister, who was the BBC uh, producer who set the whole thing up. You've got Gillian Anderson playing... Uh, um, uh, 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 Emily Maitlis. There you go. You uh, got there. I, I got there in the end. Five, five viral I got there. I, I, I did that. Came. I did that. Right. Uh, anyway, in this, there's some narrative which is, uh, that, uh, has got people raising their eyebrows because his character at one point, Prince Andrew, as played by uh, Rufus Sewell, says, uh, I don't know whether he's getting so uh, worked up about my friendship with... Jeffrey Epstein, I was much more friendly with Jimmy Savile. So, oh, well done, slow clap. So, of course, uh, was his brother, the current king, Charles, uh, who had a very close friendship. But there's Andrew and Jimmy there. But, uh, but Charles was very, very close with yeah. Jimmy, as was Margaret Thatcher. So, yeah. And there's Tony Weird. Blair with Jimmy. They said of Jimmy Savile, so, who was the man that groomed the nation, he sure as hell groomed the royals. But he this really is, this did. This is what I find staggering. We were saying it the other day about P. Diddy and his, um, you know, yeah. alleged sex parties yeah. and everything else. When you've got somebody who's earned a bit of cash or had a number one record or has their face on multiple tele teleprograms, all of a sudden they can do no wrong. Suddenly they're showered with moral rectitude mm -hmm. and they have to be touched like the Pope. Mm -hmm.